today is going to be a lot of fun guys so come with us hi guys good morning and welcome back to another vlog so today is just a random day today is sunday and i think it's around 12 30 pm so laura and i are all dressed we are going out to have fun mama okay so we're going to ikea to you know can do furniture window shopping then from ikea i want to go to pound line and get some stuff so yeah and i'm going to come back on time so i don't have to pass here all by myself that's why i'm even leaving like by like this time you know maybe by three o'clock we'll be on our way back by the way today is Elara's that first day of, at work he has finished his induction so today's his first shift and I, I think they call it shadow you know what yeah so he went to work lolo elora <laughs> so so that place i passed that night this is what it looks like during the day like once you just come out from here that's my street so but all of this place like can you see you can see like it's all bush 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 it's all bush so you can see this is what the place looks like during the day that's where i just came out from and this is where i'm heading to so there's this bridge or like a bridge i'm standing on the bridge so there's this lake that passes all the way to that side so yeah let's get going i can see a lot of dogs coming behind me so i'll see you guys at the bus stop <laughs> so guys update they said the, that pathway is flooded i don't know why so that i have to pass through this other place and i've never passed here before so oh my god huh? now wow are you sure this is a good day to go out it's so muddy. Ah, see. I, it's so muddy. So I have to pass through here. Let me see where it takes me. So I'm coming back. I'm going to stop at the other side. I'll not follow here. So I turned my camera around so you can see. Honestly, I don't think this is a good idea. But let me just go anyway. If I'm coming back, I'll not follow here. I'll stop at the other bus stop. So, we basically just came out from there now. And this is the way out. Honestly, I don't know whose idea this is, but this is crazy. If I'm going out, I'm going to look for another route that I can, rather can, feel, I can follow when I'm coming back. So, I'm not about to follow this road again. It was a very bumpy ride. It's almost felt our stroller. Can you see the noise it's making so yeah i'll go for another road i can follow when i'm coming back i'm not going here again so, see you guys in the bus i think the bus stop is over there so guys this is where we came out we came out from from that road there and that's the bus stop the bus we want to enter is already on its way coming oh okay i can pass it's already on its way coming so let me just hurry and cross i didn't know i followed that other road this is where i would have come out but this one took us there oh okay well we can go Just go to the bus stop and wait for the bus. So I have my all-way pass, and there's the bus. Hey guys, so we just entered the bus now. Because that 
driving inside the bus was so cranky and because of how we missed our way now I'm at what do you call the Kadri that is and I'm trying to see if we can get another bus to where we are going to from here. arrived our destination um i think ikea is just like seven minutes walk from here so yeah here we go alora is cranky i think she's feeling sleepy so maybe she just wants to see herself in her bed right now and not what i'm putting her through you know the whole outing and all that so yeah it's getting cold Let me just turn my camera around so you guys can see. So you can see, there yeah, is like here. I'm just going to walk down. Walk down. Walk down. Walk down. That's this over there. I just press this stop, so I'm waiting for it to turn green so we can cross. Uh huh, we can turn green. Laura, mama. Laura, mama. You have to get used to the fact that your mom likes going out, alright, young lady? Okay, that one is still, it's still green. Let's pass quickly. Yeah, I said, <laughs> Laura has to get used to the fact that her mom likes going out and start enjoying it. Because I'm not about to start staying at home every day, like for what? There are so many places to enter here. Yeah? There is Ikea, there's Aldi, there is. I don't know, but we're going to go there when I'm done at Ikea. I hope my. I pray my phone doesn't go off on me because my battery is already at 50%. So, yeah. Honestly guys, Manchester is, is a cool place to be. I just keep wondering like if Manchester feels this good, then who knows how Birmingham, London and all those other places are. I've been receiving yummy Asian food. So that's all the over there. We might go there later. Yeah. yeah, so we are at the entrance of the IKEA now. Let me just turn my camera around. Once again, <laughs> oh my god, the cold is entering my eye. I'm tearing up. There's nothing that I hate like when I prepare to go out and my camera decides to just go off on me. Be like, what well, I'm already seeing that's 50%. Who knows if it will even get anywhere? So, I think this is the exit. Let's take the entrance. This place is giving me Dubai vibes. <laughs> I don't think this is the entrance, but this cold is getting worse. So let me just take it and go in. Yeah, it feels warm. So 
guys, I'm here now and yeah, I'm about to start touring and care for you guys. So you can see that bed frame is for 490 pounds. Um, this 12 pounds is for this shawl. There's a baby bed there. The wardrobe, the wardrobe is for 508 pounds. Um, yeah, so let's check other stuff out. Of course, we have flowers. Oh, look at this kitchen. Is this cabinet? So fun. I love office table. What is the office table? No way. It's 115 pounds. That's really cool. For this office table, it's actually two here. So one is for 115 pounds. This is really nice. Like, so nice. And this shelf is for 75 pounds, which is not bad. Oh, it's nice. Hey, young lady. Hey, young lady. <laughs> See your eyes. Oh, look at this huge shelf. Can you believe that this huge shelf is for 225 pounds? That's so cool. Very cool. And this other one. It's for 235. Um, this couch and this sofa is for 750 pounds. I think this is expensive. Yeah, they are bed and they are bed and what's it called? Um, sofas are usually expensive. Look at the complete living room for under. 850 pounds can you believe that oh yeah this is what the living room looks like yeah. plant lovers you can see a different plant in the living room there's a office table there's a shelf decor and there's this tiny sofa or is it couch for three pieces. So I think everything here, everything here like this is going for 850 pounds. This is really cool. If you're on a budget, it's very nice. And those are like minimalistic home decor. <laughs> so yeah, they have flowers, pots, planters, everything, they have it there. Sofas. Yeah, sofas are expensive. Look at that one; it's for four fifty. That black one. This one is for four ninety nine. Even this is for four ninety nine. And this light is really fine. I'm going to kind of rush the video because my phone is about to go off. I even had to off my data and reduce my phone brightness. Now look at that couch for five people. Come on, this is so fine. This was six ninety nine. Oh my, I love, love this. The cabinet, no, this wardrobe or oh, shelf, yeah, this shelf is so fine. Uh, look at it's just for 199 pounds, guys. Okay, this particular one is for 199, and that one is for 350. And it's so fine, you can have it in your living room.
you know to think of being on another angle like you can just wait for black friday or whenever they are having sales to buy at great discounts i think that says black friday that time i was still in dubai they did like 50 percent off you can imagine everything that you see they were on 50 percent off guys that that was so crazy you need to see their stores that day like everything was getting sold out in minutes so guys here is a complete living room for under 750 pounds like for everything you see here this is so cool imagine having the perfect living room for just 750 pounds like, this is so cool huh like so cool so so cool but this living room is not for chubby people because this chair is so small this chair can only fit there are two people look at this office it's really small but it's really nice guys it's really really nice yeah. and everything is just for 750 pounds can you imagine like with, with less than one million naira you have fixed your dream sitting room in uk but that one is not for me because <laughs> i can't even sit on that chair we just break Look at this sofa for £1,450. You like it? For that living room, is entering my eyes. So imagine everything there for £750, guys. It's cool, really cool. It's so cozy. I like the lighting of the of this room. Like it's so cozy. It's giving this um do I say farmhouse vibe? It's nice, like very nice. And this is not how I intended to do this video. I wanted to do it like very detailed, but my phone wants to give up on me. Let me check the price of it. So far, it's for it's for four hundred and seventy nine pounds. I need to change these pouches. Um, I here have one of the nicest TV benches. Look at this one for 109 pounds. Look at the gray. Look at that. That's for 207 pounds. This for 212. But honestly, I didn't get it because it's UK. If um comparing to the prices in Dubai, it's not this high. I think I don't know. Maybe it's just the UK thing. But yeah, look at look at this one for 212 pounds. That's for 109 pounds. Oh, that's so classy. Let me show you guys. Look at this one. It's so fine. It has glass in front. And it's for 212 pounds. 
it's really nice. If you don't have kids, that can break it. This feels so cozy. It's as if I just came back home. <laughs> Look at the cute dining. Each of these dining chair is for 150 pounds. Look at this is for 179. This sofa here is for let's say 1000 pounds. It's really cool. I didn't bother showing few people the kitchen um, cabinet and stuff because it's not like we're building houses from scratch here, are we? So, yeah, look at this. £1,300. And this is nice, very nice. How much is this? This is for 438 pounds and you can actually buy it and pay monthly, pay 75 pounds monthly and pay it over 6 months. This is not bad if you're looking to, you know, collect that is. Oh yeah. This is really nice and it's for 60 pounds. You can have it in your bathroom or wherever. It's portable and nice. Like teal green and it's for 150. This is my dream work table. Like I love this work table. I've been seeing it on Pinterest. And you can't wait for the day I'll buy it. It's for one hundred and five pounds. There's another one. They have really nice work table. This one is for 75 pounds. Can you imagine? And it's so fine. And it is, uh, is this on top? Okay, we just added it on top. This is for 40. So this area is basically work table, chairs, and stuff. Guys, look at this bed. It's so fine. Oh. It's so funny for one thousand and forty nine pounds. Okay, let me move back so you can see properly. Can you see? This is what it looks like. We have other nice beds. This is for four twenty nine. And these are bedside tables. I see that's what we provide. It's for 20, 20 also, 55, and so on. So these are beds. Um, okay, let me show you guys. Well, let's go this way. So, the bed frame alone is for 219 pounds. This bed frame alone. 
So you buy your masha separately. I look at that. I like the bedsheet and that is on it. This one is a um, bed frame with four storage boxes for 319 pounds. It doesn't come with the bed, the pillow and all. It doesn't come with it. So there's another one. This is for 219. Single bed frame. That green one over there is for 985. The ash one there is for two sixty nine. So So look at this bedroom. So this bed frame alone is for three hundred and seventy nine pounds. And it's nice, it's nice. I just like the way their setting feels like it has this cozy homely feeling like once you just step into the um what's it called this area that they decorated like it already feels like home so you can just imagine how much better it should feel if it's in your house Then look at this one, a complete bedroom for under 750 pounds, guys. Can you imagine? So let's check it out. This is for 150. This, this decors are here. The bed frame, look at that bed frame for 125 and it's so fun. Look at the kids' bed. Look at it. The shelves and everything. Sorry. So everything there is for 750 guys. Like that's so good. So 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 good. Money just for 750 pounds. I think it even includes the bed sheets, you see the pillows, everything for 750. Um, if I'm correct. They usually have a list of what you are getting. So look at this bed for kids. This one is 259. 259. But I don't think it comes. Does it come with a mattress? I don't know if it comes with a mattress. No, but I don't think it, it, it doesn't come with a mattress. So everything is for 259. And look at this also. 399. So look at this bed frame for kids as well. This is for 199. This is for 169. And yes. It doesn't include the mattress. You buy the mattress separately. So look at this dressing table. The table alone is for 99 pounds. The chair, the, the transparent or the glass chair, yeah, is for 75. The side table is for 55 pounds. It doesn't come with this angle stuff. No, it doesn't come with it. Uh, look at that side drawer. It's for 150. Okay. 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 We'll be going because, yeah, I'm tired. So, these plates are for four pounds eight for 18. piece. Yeah, one piece is four pounds eighty. This is for two pounds thirty. This is what it looks like. These ones are for 
is for one pound twenty. This is a good pronouncement. And Michelle Ben and Chopin's store. Michelle Ben and Chopin's store. This is very much like yesterday. Thank you. Look at this. I don't see the price. Look at this. The pack of these four plates is for eight pound. Yeah, eight pound. And it's very really nice and solid. So guys, after showing you people here, I think we'll just leave and go somewhere else because it's already um, almost 3 p.m. And I don't want to stay out late today. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to act another movie. <laughs> so this pot is for 59 pounds, right? Nine piece cookware for 59 pounds. So it's a set of nine. Yeah. Like, nine for this set which is going for 59 pounds it's not bad not bad i mean pots are the thing right now you know i don't see people buying pots of 400k and so on and so forth so yeah people invest in pots now with the new gold One is for 50. Is it for 55? Six piece cookware. Then look at this one. The six piece cookware. It looks this. It don't look like all those car. Is it caraway? Caraway yeah. pots. It's for 55 pounds for the pan. This, this, this. Oh, that's interesting. Look at this one. I think they are pots and buy 50, 55 pounds for a set, which is not bad. This week is for two pounds fifty. Two pounds fifty. This um, how much is this? It's for four pounds. They have lots of cooking stuff. Okay. Let me show you guys this last one and let's go from here. This is for two. Um, let's see what's here. Wow, this is really solid, guys. If you buy this one, it might probably pass it down to your daughter. <laughs> it is very solid. And it's for 10 pounds. Guys, Okay. Do you have any cake on the table? Sorry. 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 It's for five pounds. It's about one, two, three, four, five. Five pounds. And it's very, very solid. It's not that type that we use and cook that will start melting inside the pot. It's very solid. They have nice cookware. Oh, I love this. It's so nice. I'm definitely going to buy this today. Come back. It's for 10 pounds. These are seeds. Yeah, let's go home. Bye. Let's leave here. So guys, I'm gradually getting burnt out. So I want to be on my way. We might enter LD or the other um, shopping center that I saw. I don't know whichever comes first to just enter the air because I want to buy potato and you know some house stuff. So yeah. That's it guys on today's episode of IKEA. Okay. I can actually see rugs. Let me show you guys rugs. Look at this. This is for 149. I don't know. Those are like bohemian stuff. It looks boho. I like this rug. It's so funny. Oh, and it feels so good, like your work with us very inside. Oh, this is also good. For 139. It's quite big. It's big. All these are bohemian designs. 
Look at this, what is five pounds? Twenty five. Look at this. This for ten. This for twenty. Ten. We have so many of it here. Yeah, you know the thing about IKEA, like whatever you see, you just take the number, then you come to the uh, um, this storeroom and pick it. Like you don't pick stores from inside, you come out here to pick it with the number he wrote down. So yeah, that's what the people around are doing. Then this leads to the exit of the place where you pay and go. But well, I didn't buy anything, so I'll just you know go but well, this is what they are storeroom looks like her checkout is that way so you can see like it's so huge it has all the stuff you saw in here so yeah i'll just find my way out from here hi guys so i just came out from my chair now and it's raining so i wanted to enter the aldi here but i don't know it's already getting dark so let me just go and enter the one in my area i want to buy potato corn and some house stuff so let me just go look at the bus i'm supposed to enter here Oh, I can't make it so I just have to use. Oh my god, it's streaming guys. Like the weather is so so cold. My hands are freezing. I already forgot. So guys, yeah, we just entered the bus now. Um that other one left was another one came. I don't even know. They're all going to Piccadilly, but I don't know which other Piccadilly this one is going to. But it's so freezing out there like Let's just go home. So when we get to my area, we go to the Audi there, how to buy some grocery, then yeah, we'll head home. Look at the place I wanted us to come. Maybe I'll we'll come some other time. Let me turn my camera around so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, that's the place I wanted us to come. It looks very deep and looks like it has a lot of activity going on. So that'll be the next time. Hi guys, so I just got to the Fadili Riding now and I'm about to take the next bus home. So I just paused to make a video like the rain is falling, it's so cold and a lot is sleeping. So yeah, I'm contemplating maybe I should enter this store here or I should go to the alley close to my house but I don't know. So I just entered the Teaching market anyway. Um, yeah, let me just get this stuff here. I want to buy bread for burger. I didn't take a shopping bag. See what I'm doing. We have different types. I should I take that thing very fine? Oh, who is this? Hmm. Should I just take that? I don't know. Let <laughs> me just take the two. I just want to buy a list um, two for two pounds and the big one is for two pounds and this is just a small I think I'll take the big one. <sighs> oh, I need to get a shopping bag so I can pack all this thing. Actually, 
actually the reason why I came here, there's this store close to our house, but their stuff are ridiculously expensive. Like I noticed a lot of diaper, the one we bought from what's it called Aldi was for two pounds fifty nine. But the one I've been buying from that store is just a pack of ten for like five pounds. Meanwhile the one from the Aldi is like I think twenty four pieces inside guys for two pounds fifty nine and then imagine buying a pack of ten only for um five pounds. So I just realized that their stuff are more expensive than I thought. So we better to just buy it here and take it home. Stuff is just for 59 pence, which is absolutely affordable. Just I can actually order from delivery. I think I'm going to try that. I'll try to see if I can order stuff from delivery. That way, you don't have to, you know, go to the store regularly to buy stuff. Mm -hmm. In a while. It has spaghetti, so it's stay for two for one pound tea. It's not bad. Yeah, I need vegetable oil. Look at this oil. Hi guys, welcome back. It's exactly 5 p.m. right now. Can you believe that? Like, see how dark everywhere is. So we're at the bus stop now. We just came down from the bus. And I've requested for both. The rider is, the driver is on this way. We take cab home. Because I'm not about to pass through the valley of shadow of death. I'm not about to pass that this night. So I'm waiting for my ride. It's just like how many minutes drive from here. So yeah. I'll see you guys at home. See how dark everywhere is. My right, my driver will arrive for me. Oh my god, it's so cold. Ah, no, mama, this is your blanket. You have messed it up. I have to wash it when we get one. guys good morning and welcome back to another vlog so today is monday and it's past 11 a.m i think we like eight minutes past 11 and i'm on my way out i'm supposed to go for a house viewing um the time is um this viewing was scheduled for 11 o'clock to 11 30 but it's currently like eight minutes past 11 i'm already running late so I want to call them now and ask if I should still come or if they already want to cancel before I enter the bus. So if they say I should come, I'll go ahead and go. If they say I shouldn't come, I'll just go to the um, hospital or what is it called? Yeah, the hospital close to the house to confirm if they have... Um, finish my registration because the woman said i should check back today maybe one day on the update of the registration so it's all the same way the bus stop and the hospital is on the same like it's on the same location so yeah let me just go there i didn't even eat because i'm in a rush like leaving the house so yeah see you guys so um i tried calling the number i saw on right move but they said i should drop a message that they'll get back to me so yeah i feel like let me just go even though i'm late let me just go since the address is there maybe i might still meet someone there you know but if not like i'll just come back but it's not like i'm paying i have um a week bus pass and the place is not far it's just like seven stops from here so let me just go like it doesn't hurt anyone and by the way i even checked with the um, hospital and they said my registration is not yet done so it's check back next week so i have to wait update guys i just changed my mind i'm going back home like doesn't make any sense it's already 11 36 
and my appointment was for 11 a.m to 11 30 so i was the guarantee that if i get there like so yeah i'm just going home i'm even very hungry and yeah let me wait for the response so if you reply again i will go back if you don't it's fine i also have another viewing on the 23rd of november so we keep trying and by the way that other house that we went to see the other day they are here to reply us they haven't replied yet i don't know why like it just takes this long to get things done in this country so yeah see you guys later